Okay, <clears throat> said I was gonna do a walk around. Uh, we're trying to sell our 2003 Stan Cars Unlimited four or five seater. It's a four seater right now, but it actually fits another third person in the back seat. So I will go over the whole car front to back as best as possible. Uh, spindle hubs, no brakes up front. Fox coilovers on the front. Uh, it has a latest Rage rack on it that I just replaced because the old one had some slop in it. Not a big fan of the latest Rage racks, but the mounts are already welded on the chassis and I'm not going to go trying to change all that. So, uh, CNC, pedal assembly, uh, it has a cooler up front. I don't know if this is too close. I might be holding it too close here for you guys, but... Car there. Okay, LED white bar. It's got some light pods inside. Gauges. Uh, I converted this car from a turbo Volkswagen that was an absolute maniac. I mean, it was really fast, but did not do it for shit. And so, I took the uh, turbo Volkswagen out, put the 3.2 liter Acura in, and now it is just a dream to drive as a family car. So. Uh, switches, what do we have here? The very top one is the dome light. Uh, light bar, oil fan, whip light, uh, the pod lights, uh, ignition and your fuel pump are both on the same switch. And then down here I have some switch for some LEDs that kind of shine down on the sand through the bottom of the car. The bottom of the car has that mesh material so all the sand does go out um, but it does come right back in. So. I mounted the uh, radiator in the back here. You can see the mounts here. This is the bad stuff. I mean, you'd be after willing to try to finish some of the stuff off that I'm just not willing to get involved in right now. Ugh. The back, what do we got here? Is a Bosch fuel pump uh, with an Aeromotive pre filter. It has a 20 or 15 gallon spun aluminum tank. Uh, Wilwood brakes, 930s, CVs are actually, I just serviced last year. I usually go two years and service them, so they're good for this year, but you'll need to service them after that. If you want to stick with the two-year thing, which I do, it's just grease, you know, they're easy to take off, so. Uh, back of the exhaust. Uh, six, there's three on each side that come back in here. I'm not running any mufflers. I'll start it up for you. It's real quiet. But when you want it to be loud and nasty, it is. So This side. Has a storage wing trunk. Vinyl top. Forgive me on that. Front of the car. Side of the car. These are the paddles that go with it. Uh, 1450s, 15s. As you can see, they still have all the nubs on the side. And they still have that crap that they use to mold the tires together in it. So, still plenty of paddle left. Transmission, 091, um, all Weddles. I have the paperwork on the last rebuild uh, from Don's bus box down in Arizona there. Uh, the ECU is mounted under the back seat. And I've got a couple pouches behind the front seats here. I do have a whip light for it, it's in my trailer. It goes with the car. The Momo steering wheel. Okay, my wife bought this for me for my birthday, so I can't get rid of it. It goes to three vehicles, including this one, so now it's only going to go to two other vehicles. So I keep the steering wheel, and I'm going to have another suede steering wheel put on, or I don't know what I'm going to do, but it will come with a steering wheel. I just, my wife won't let me part with the steering wheel, so happy wife, happy life. I'll fire it up for you. I 
have it, I told him it's about 1300. and two bumper all in one switch so anyways there's the car getting rid of it I got other projects I want to do 6100 truck over there just blew the motor in it have to buy another motor so 